Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EDI Doors. In this video, I'm about to bring you guys along um, a new hobby of mine. I'm, I'm trying to start a new um, thing. I don't know. But um, I'm about to start making my own baits. My own soft plastic baits. And uh, I've been doing a lot of research. I've been watching hours and hours and hours of video on how to do it. And I found a guy who I like that does a pretty good job of it. And I basically, you know, follow him and do what he does. So, y'all stay tuned. Uh, check out some of the stuff I got in the store. It's coming right up on EDI Doors. Um, I'm about to start making my own soft plastic bait. So, I want you guys to um, kind of follow along as I go throughout this new hobby of mine. Um, Making soft plastics is easier than most people think. The first mold I ordered was a bio crawl, and it was 25 bucks for the mold, but it's a single mold. Basically, um, you order molds, and you pour your hot plastic into these molds. Um, you can do a single mold, but of course, obviously, if you make one package of baits that has seven uh, crawls in it, it takes you seven times you know, to make that. You can order bigger molds that have uh, five or six or eight, however many cavities per mold. Uh, you order a single cavity mold, they're cheaper, and then they have some that, you know, obviously the, the bigger they are, the more they cost. Well, we go low end, 80 bucks, upwards of 450 bucks. Um, so just me being me, right now I'm starting off with just a single uh, cavity mold. So, but I did order um, a single mold. Whenever I ordered all my stuff, I ordered a Cinco mold and I had to wait for it to get here and it'll be here any minute now. We are literally waiting for the mailman to bring it any minute now, a uh, drop off. And it's a aluminum mold with a um, four cavity Cinco. So we're going to start making some Cinco. So stay and let you guys see the process um, with making Cinco. So real quick, uh, basically to make soft plastics, you have Plastisol. And Plastisol is basically liquid PVC. And once you pour it, you, you can add your colors, add your glitters, your flake and all that good stuff. And you bring the temperature up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you get to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, it goes through a conversion process and it converts itself from liquid to the solid, which is what you guys know as the soft plastic banks. So, there's a company called Dead On Plastics and they make a higher end plastic saw where you don't have to worry about the chemicals and the you know the fumes and all that good stuff um, that's associated with it. I don't want to go too much into detail because I don't really know a whole lot, but I've I've learned a whole lot over the past two weeks or so from watching. Um, but basically, they don't plastics and make really good, high quality stuff. Uh, so I ordered from them, and I don't know exactly which plastic I wanted to to try. They have different blends. They have blends for crawl baits, for tubes, for worms, for swim baits. All the good stuff they have uh plastics that float plastics that sink right out of the gate to make plastics you need your plastic saw that's what we have here you see the different uh blends we have so we're gonna use one of those um and then you need your colorants we have different colors here i have um let's see i ordered six different colors and i got uh black green pumpkin this is a cocoa which gives like a brown um june bug green and blue your glitters so there are companies that make all this stuff but this stuff here i bought just from walmart just to try it out now this isn't the best stuff to use obviously because at high temperatures these these glitters will melt and they will dissolve but uh i just picked up a little package that that has all the different colors the greens and the golds that's like a red and blue mix i like good stuff these are small uh diameter plat um glitters Picked up this tube here, uh, just red flake, bigger diameter, and then black flake. Got a big, big container because basically everything you use takes black flake. So you need an injector. This is aluminum injector. They come in uh, two ounce. This is a four ounce, six ounce, and then they have 10, 12, so forth. Um, and this four ounce was like 40 bucks, uh, which is on the cheaper end, but yeah they also make dual injectors so you can draw up two different colors at one time and inject them at the same time whatever so you need your plastics your colors <clears throat> something to cook your plastic in just a glass dish and your basically this is a syringe 
All right, so on to the molds. <clears throat> like I said, we're waiting for the Cinco mold to get here. This is the bio crawl mold. And um, basically what happens is you take your, your hot plastic and you pour it into, uh, this is called a sprue. This is where your, your plastic goes in at and it pipes into the cavity, fills it up, and there you go. This is the four inch uh, bio crawl. And basically that's how you, that's how, that's how it goes. You go in, you fill it up, and you cast it your mold. And uh, it cools really quickly. This plastic, like literally, once you pour this, you give it a minute or two, it's it's ready to go. Have a knife to mix our plastics and a thermometer. I picked up this infrared thermometer. You need it because you need your temperature of your plastic to be uh, at a high temperature so it doesn't cool off too quickly. And um, your temperature that you want your plastic is to be 350 degrees. All right, so how to melt your plastics. Obviously, you need something to melt it. Ye old microwave. All right, take your microwave. Uh, you don't want to use your in-home microwave, but I am because uh, I'm actually waiting on <gasps> this mailman. So the mailman has to go um, hit the fish neighborhood, go down to the end of the street, turn around, and come back. So within the next 30 minutes or so, we should be ready to go with our uh, Cinco's. I'm excited. All right, anyway, like I was saying, uh, your microwave, America. Um, basic 900 watt microwave, which one you use, and um, you want to heat your plastics. Now, when you're heating your plastics, you want to gradually bring up the temperature. Uh, I, I usually do just the start, 30 second button right there, and I usually do um, about a minute the first time, and then 30 second intervals and increase the temperature. Now, the plastics are white whenever you pour them into your container. When you heat, excuse me, when you heat, heat them up, they turn clear. So that's pretty cool. So, all right, I know this video's kind of long, but so over, like I said, past two weeks or so, I've been uh, making baits, and here are um, what's left over of the colors I've been making. I have a few different colors, and in a second, take you guys inside the house and show you guys the baits I made. So. Uh, here's the color I made last night actually. This is uh, a cocoa with a hint of green and some, some uh, black flake. And that color is like a uh, natural crawl color. I have a watermelon, watermelon magic. Uh, you see all the glitter sinks to the bottom, uh, but that's kind of kind of what it looks like right there. It, it looked better um, with the baits. Uh, you see down there, I got some June bug, got some black. Uh, I have a, a really neat color that I made. I took some of my, my red shad swim baits, I mean uh, worms, and I made sort of a reddish tint color. Um, it looks really cool, but anyway, so yeah. So as you make your plastics, whatever cools off, you can throw back and you can heat it up and make again. Like I said, I've made about nine or 10, and I still have this much left over in this bus right here. I could probably make another four or five baits just from remelting the plastic. So one of these is one full cup, and that makes a ton of baits. Um, sort of a green pumpkin with a bunch of flake in it. Um, I usually start off with just a bare, whatever color I'm making. That's a bare green pumpkin right there with no flakes or anything in it. So I have a couple, handful of those. Um, got some blues over here. I thought it was on the cutting board. That's what the blue looks like, just bare. It kind of looks sort of June bugish, but it's not June bug, trust me, it's blue. Um, and then I started adding flake and sparkles and glitters. And then I got fancy, like real fancy, and, and I made a two-tone color. And basically, I poured a black one. And um, after the black one was poured, I uh, left the claws um, in the mold, and then I poured the blue on top of it, and it gave me this two-tone, um, Sort of two-tone color with the black tips so that's my blues and I have my straight blacks um, got sort of a here this is a, a black and gold for all of my uh, Saints fans out there black and gold um, and then I got some black with red flake and all kind of good colors and this is the color I tell you guys about the red color I made and this is this was made from uh, I should I call this color Deadpool 
and it's Deadpool because it's literally a mixture of a bunch of baits that I've already had, like commercial baits. Like I said, rash, there's some red shad in there. There's some swim bait colors. It's a, bu it's a bunch of colors that are mixed in there. You get to focus. It's kind of hard to focus. Um, I'm, my manual fo there we go. Manual focus. Um, so I got that red tint um, color right there. I really like the color. I have some more left over. I'm going to try to mimic this color again and make a good, a good bit of it. So I got that there. And then last night I made this uh, cocoa, and I only made one of them, one of them, but it's a pretty good color, so, sort of a natural looking color. All right, you guys, while we're waiting on the, on the mailman, go ahead and knock out a few um, crawls for you guys. Show you guys just how it's done. It's real simple. I mean, it's simpler than you think, but so it's more involved than you think. So there's two ways to make plastic. Like, so you start from scratch with your plastic saw, which is how. I primarily do it, but uh, you can also take existing baits. Like if you like Zooms, um, June Bug color, or you know you like Berkeley's crawfish color, or whatever. You can take those pla those uh, plastics, melt them down, and pour your own uh, from those colors. There's no copyright or anything on it, crazy like that. Uh, so I'm gonna take, like I said last night, I made this color. Dig it here, find it. Uh, this is just a crawl crawl color. Like a natural color, and um, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna remelt it and um, make some more molds from it. I make some more uh, baits from it. And so uh, basically, basically it's the same thing. If I were gonna take um, like a an eight inch worm from uh, Zoom, it'll be the same as if I'm taking this stuff that I've already made. This is just leftover stuff. So take it, put it into your glass container and like I said pop it in the microwave and to melt this down I'm going to do one minute on, on uh, high heat the first go around uh, mix it up and then I'm going to gradually increase the temperature uh, you don't want to go you don't want to go too heavy uh, at first because you may melt the plastic or you may burn that plastic before it melts so open up my microwave all right we go one minute um, and let that soften up and then I will stir it let it go for another 30 seconds to a minute and then I'll check the temperature and like I said once we get it to 350 degrees it'll be ready to pour so while it's going uh, these molds they make some that are hinged they make some that have uh, screw clamps on them already but most of them are just two different or just two parts so you want to take a clamp you want to clamp down that mold. Keep it held together because once you um, start pouring your plastic, you're creating a lot of pressure in this mold. All right, you're gonna have your your tube on there, and this is completely airtight, or not airtight, but uh, it's sealed. You know, push all that plastic through. So keep it clamped down. There's gonna be a lot of pressure, and you don't want to uh, blast all of the the soft plastic out. You got five seconds left on the microwave. Uh, it's about to stop right now. Yeah, bear with me. I'm trying to work around the camera so you guys can see. I'll try to get a first person view. So you see, that's it's not melted yet, but very very soft. And just as a as a uh, perspective, right now that's sit at 97 degrees. Pop it back in. We we'll let it rip for another minute, and we'll see where it's at. So another minute, right there. You can see. It's starting to get a little runny. So I do it outside, but like for example, today is really, really cold. Like it's rainy and cold, a lot of moisture in the air. You wanna be careful of all that good stuff. So um, the plastic is gonna set up a lot quicker than it would if it was 90 degrees outside. So since it's almost gonna be ready to test go around, I'm taking my injector. This is aluminum. It's gonna be really, really cold. So that first pour that I make, it's gonna instantly start cooling off my plastic so I take it uh, tuck it into my jacket or just kind of like warm it up in my body uh, it's not too cold right now it's very cold uh, but it'll heat up as you pour more plastic so I'm popping in my jacket real quick and start warming it up keep it close to my body let it be nice and warm um, hopefully to help it sit up a little better I stopped it about five minutes or about three seconds before you see it's now liquid let's check it See what the temperature is 342 degrees 
I'm gonna give it a stir. And at this point, I want to add in some of my big black flake. Uh, I, I have small black flake in there right now, but uh, I want bigger flakes. Like some people will measure out. You can get a measuring spoon uh, and measure out, but it's gonna dump it in. I'm just eyeballing it. That was a big flake, mix it in. And when you check your color, you wanna check it on your knife. So that color that's on the knife is gonna be um, more of what you get versus what's inside the, the pan. So this should give us enough plastic to make one pulp, one one uh, more bait. So comes out of the mold, out of the microwave. You want to stir it because all that glitter has sunk to the bottom. Let me zoom in a little bit. All that glitter has sunk to the bottom, so you want to give it a stir. Take one more reading. That's in that 369 degrees. You don't want it, you don't want it to be too too high of a temperature. Like 400 is basically burnt. Um, you want to keep it less than 370. I would say. So here we go. Go ahead and suck that up into our injector. Put into the injector. You want to press, and you will feel the pressure. You will feel to where you can't hardly press this um, injector tube down any further. I'm just zoom out a little bit. Get the point where you can't press out any further. You want to hold it for a few seconds. You force some air. You force some all of that liquid plastic into the mold. Once that pops up, you're gonna have a little runoff. That's what you want. You want to make sure that squirt your excess into your container. You want to make sure all of that that cavity is filled to the top. What happens is, as as the uh, bait cools, the plastic is going to condense down. It's going to shrink. It's going to suck all of that that's inside of this uh, valve into the bait. So top it off so that way it doesn't create an air pocket. And just like that, I'm talking instantly, it's already set up. That's by hand, I'm pulling off the rubber, throw it back into my bowl. Pop off that projector. That's what's left over, that's everything that didn't come out, and it's already set up. Now usually if I'm doing several in a row, I will uh, put a piece of aluminum foil over the top of the container to keep it warm. But in this case, I'm only doing one. So the plastic is already set up. Peel off the top part. Put the excess back in the bowl. Everything that that's, that's left over, I keep because I'm gonna make some more uh, mixed, mixed colors. So take the clamp off. Sometimes with these smaller injectors, you might I mean, small uh, molds, I'm gonna have to give it a little pry. Pry it open. Get off the mold. And there you go. You have your pry bait. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Nice big black flake in it. Um, that sort of brown natural color and right now this is very very soft so what I do keep a container of water drop it in the water and you're gonna let that set up and firm up um, those baits now they're ready but you want to let them sit and cure for 24 hours so I don't want to start fishing with them or doing anything with them right now but let them, let them sit for 24 hours before I start doing anything with it and guys, that's basically it. That's how you make your baits. I mean, that simple. Um, the, the art to it and the trick to it is mixing and matching colors. You can literally, you can you can uh, melt that plastic or heat up that plastic and leave it clear. And just throw in a bunch of uh, glitter and flakes and change the color that way. You can mix and match colors. You can do lighter or darker colors. However you want to do it, there's so many ways to do it and make new baits, make uh, your favorite colors, make whatever. You can add salt to it. Salt helps your bait sinks, but um, it also weakens the bait. It makes the bait more porous. So Cinco's, you want salt on them, of course, because people love salt in the Cinco's. Um, but you want to use a firmer plastic to do so because it's going to weaken that bait. Um, I, I like to do um, salt. When I do salt, I like to put salt in the bag, on the bait, on the outside, not inside of the plastic. 
so yeah you can throw in your lure uh, scents you can throw in salts whatever you want to do mix and match so sorry about that you guys as as I was about to grab my bait the mailman pulled up so uh, I'm gonna show you guys my Cinco model so there you go one more time that's how that looks with the flake and all that good stuff looks pretty cool I like that but um toss that back into the water Alright guys, here is the package, here is the unboxing, or I guess the unpackaging. I don't want you guys to see my, eat. I don't want y'all to see my uh, mail address, I want y'all to come in, you know, try to kidnap me or something, or whatever, I'm just kidding. 